All right, the next workout designed for uh, stuck at home. So, uh, Corona 19 workout. I just figured it was an app name for it, um, appropriate name. So we're gonna do everything for 19 reps. You can do more if you want, uh, but it'd be easy to remember now, right? So, and uh, why is this applicable right now? Well, we, you can do everything you want at home. You will need a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, um, use a gallon of water, um, use just something with some weight, you know, just doesn't have to be much, just something you have to control. It could be a small child, anything. Um, <clears throat> but this is going to help strengthen our lungs. So, uh, for me growing up and being in, uh, always wanting to be in sports, I've had bad asthma my whole life. So it was routines like this that helped me train through and build the capacity, capacity of my lungs to be able to play sports. Uh, why is that important now? Well, because anytime you have any upper respiratory infection or a cold or flu or anything like that, if your lungs are already not uh, working at a nominal uh, rate, you're gonna suffer worse. And we can see that now. So uh, this is something that probably gets um, left behind a lot of times. If you're not competing in sports, you don't even realize you have an issue in it. People are always thinking about muscle mass or body fat, and they're not thinking about how efficient their lungs are. Um, but as soon as you start doing wind sprints or doing any sort of sport where you're having to push yourself, you realize how inefficient your lungs are. All right, so these little reminders here. <clears throat> Lime, because Lime goes with Corona. So uh, vitamin C, you gotta, you gotta be keeping your vitamin C up to keep yourself from getting sick. It's gonna help fight this stuff off. So things like limes, um, bell peppers are loaded with vitamin C, way more than oranges. Everybody always thinks oranges or orange juice. Um, limes and bell peppers, way better. And then you don't have all that sugar. Um, think about it, it takes 10 to 12 oranges to make one glass of orange juice with no fiber, no nothing. You slug that right down tons of sugar hitting your system, which is horrible for lung capacity and for your immune system. Um, also, it messes up your um, uh, cholesterol too. So if your cholesterol blood work is coming up funky and you drink a lot of orange juice, it could be from that. And why the box, okay? If you see on this box, I got a box here and it says three, 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 because you're gonna do box breathing with this. The goal of this is to always keep your breath while you're doing this. Don't push yourself to the point you can't breathe. If during the course of this exercise, you couldn't carry on a conversation with someone during this workout, back it off. We want to build up the lung capacity. We don't want the body going into, oh crap, emergency mode. We want it to get the signal that it needs to adapt and change to get more efficient. Now for me, personally, that's usually at keeping my heart rate at about 140 beats per minute. It's really low for what most people consider a intense workout. Um, to, to burn fat and all that, but it's not. If you can't breathe, your body can't process oxygen, it also can't process fats, and you're just solely working on blood sugar. So it's a very simple workout. You're gonna do as many rounds as possible. Give yourself a 30 minute time limit. You could do this two to three times per week. It's not very uh, damaging to your muscles if you don't go crazy with it. So you could do this on the days in between the other routines I've given you. This is 90% conditioning. This is all about your lungs. I don't want you to think about anything else. Um, make sure you have good form, obviously, but this is all about the lungs and there's 10% of skill involved, kettlebell swings, the lunges, the burpees, everything. There's a form to it so you don't get hurt, okay? So you're gonna do 19 kettlebell swings or milk jug swings or small child swings. One arm or two arm. Um, if you're swinging a kid, use two hands. And uh, then you're gonna go to burpees. Don't push yourself to the point that become pukies, just do burpees. Um, and they don't have to be fast, just simply getting up and off, off, off the ground, down to the ground, back up to the ground. It takes a lot more energy than you realize. Then from there, we're gonna do lunge jumps. There's a E there in yellow, but I thought that lung jumps was funny, so you got that. Uh, lunge jumps, so basically just going back and forth to a lunge. I'm gonna do this whole workout and put it uh, put it on so you can see, and then I'll do a breakdown of it as well. And then jumping jacks, you can do standard jumping jacks, you can do them forward, back, you can change the direction each time. Um, and just keep going through. Don't do it for more than 30 minutes. If it takes you 30 minutes to just do this one time, it's fine. You gave your body the signal to get your lungs in shape, give it a few days, and do it again, two to three times a week. 
So I hope this all makes sense to you. And um, make sure you hit the like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, challenge your friends to this. Also, with all these exercises, uh, because we're not using weights, it's very easy to get discouraged and think you're not making um, progress. But if you are to document your routines as you go, just a little journal of how long this took you, um, how far you got, how you felt before and after. And you keep doing this and you look back in 12 to 16 weeks is about how long you should have a reasonable expectation to see a good change in things. You'll be surprised how far you made it and you won't remember how bad it sucked before. You'll think you're at the same place as you were and you won't realize how much progress you've made.